The beach is my home. I go there with my boys every weekend. We go for days of fun. We want to fly kites and build sandcastles, surf the waves. But we get distracted by the copious amounts of straws we see in the sand. We live in a world made of plastic. When plastic ends up in our oceans, a combination of the UV light from the sun and the currents from the water work together to break down this plastic into smaller plastics called microplastics. These microplastics are extremely hazardous to our environment because they're easily ingested by animals. But what are some plastic products that you use every day? Plastic bags. Red Solo cups. Packaging for processed foods. Coffee cup lids. Um, garbage bags. I get coffee in a bagel every day and it's not in reusable anything, so there's a lot of waste. Wire bottles, plastic utensils, microwaveable mac and cheese. With that coffee, there's a straw, so plastic straws are just like every single day kind of a thing. Plastic straws, 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 plastic straws, and straws, and straws. 500 million plastic straws are used per day in the United States. When an animal such as a fish ingests these plastics and then we eat that fish, we're also ingesting these harmful chemicals from the plastic. The albatross is a fascinating bird. It has the largest wingspan of any bird known to man. But unfortunately, when the albatross goes to the ocean to collect food for its young, it collects microplastics along the way and in turn ends up feeding the microplastics to their young. If straws can't be recycled and they're not biodegradable, then where do they end up? In our oceans and in our beaches. What makes them so dangerous is that they can get blown out of drinks, out of trash cans, and they just get blown straight to the oceans. America's beaches are home to 7.5 billion straws. When I'm diving, it's really sad to see all the straws in the ocean, like all the plastic pollution. It's really sad to see like the wildlife swimming around, like you know, stingrays, other type other types of fish. It's it's just really terrible. Sea turtles are also one of many animals that are victim to plastic pollution. If they, if they eat plastic that's in the ocean, it can actually clog their intestines and it can lead to serious starvation. I think one way we could all help is just to, you know, not use plastic straws anymore. I know I use a reusable straw, a metal one that I can clean and it's super easy, so I think we can all get behind that. What I hope to do is further research solutions for the plastic pollution problem and alternatives for everyday products such as straws. The fate of the albatross is in our hands.